Here we go, D. Here we go, ones. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Take it. Take it, ones. Take it. Good job. Good job. Get off the field. Get off the field. Get off the field. Good job, guys. Good job, Mark. Good job. Mark. Good job. Get over, Terry. Good. Good, Terry. Get over the top of that. Good spill. Good spill. Good. Get over the top. Well, over the last 10 years or so, good tackling is almost like a lost art with uh, the spread offense now. Everyone's in such open wide spaces where in the past you were just running down in the box and making a tackle in the hole. Now majority of tackles are outside the box, way out there in space, and uh, it's a lot harder for, to be a good tackler. And you really have to zone in on playing the ball inside out, looking at a guy's hips and coming through, running your feet and tackling the ball carrier. Get someone. Yes, push them and hit the next guy. Start striking guys. Definitely on the field. You can't emulate tackling enough. We, uh, every day we have a tackling drill where we're running inside out on guys, knowing where our contain is, knowing where your help is. And to be a good tackler, you have to know where your help is. Do you have a guy outside of you? Are you gonna force him to the sideline? Are you gonna be in the box and you have a D lineman coming from this way? And where you could use that leverage and knowing where your help is, where guys are coming from, uh, makes your, will make you a much better tackler. Good. Brent. Brent, open your hips. Don't start backpedaling. Open your hips and read the court. Okay? Clean that up. He's coming right downhill. Give him more. More physical. I want the linebackers in the middle of the box to be tough football players. I want them to be mentally and physically tough, ready to play downhill or ready to play versus the pass. And uh, I think tackling and the toughness of an old school linebacker um, is kind of a lost art form as well, and I want my guys to be very, very tough in the box. Keep working. Keep working for those rebounds. Dance. Make him work all the way outside of you. Get him out of that seam. Keep working him. You're good. You're good. You're good. You get good breaks. You're just backpedaling. It's taking you a while to transition. Just get lower, open your hips. Don't backpedal that linebacker. Oh, I've been coached by some of the best coaches in college, at the pro level, and I've learned that your players are going to take what you tell them and what you coach them very seriously and the best coaches have their players emulate them as a person and as a player that they used to be and uh, if my players if I could get my players to buy in and uh, just play as hard as they can every play that's where I'm going with them three step three step hey you see the quarterback you break good three step read the three step and you start working but I'm just saying you're starting off like this you're starting in a back pedal it's a, you could get to a back pedal after you open your hips. You're opening your hips, then you're coming back a little bit, yes. But don't just start back pedaling right off the bat like this. You're just going like this. Okay, so open your hips to start. Okay? Clean it up. There we go. Good. 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 Keep it going. Good. As a player, you, you get to go on there and you get to have a direct reflection of how you play will di directly reflect how the defense does or how the offense does. And as a coach, it's more of the important things are preparing your players to get ready to play. Practice time is way more important for a coach because he's getting his players ready for game day. Once game day comes, the preparation's already done. It's on the players to go out and perform. Get to the ball! T.I. Stop hey. standing around! Hey. Did you run that four? Did you run the four? Seven. You run the four, right? You're at will now. You're at will now. Seven. Let's go. Here we go. Seven. Get in that gap. Get in your gap. Don't just hold on to him. Get in your Seven. gap and spill the puller. Get in your gap. Let's go. Seven. Better, Brant. Good. Good. You open. You open? Good. 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 It's better. You, you, you don't. I mean, football, football, if you're choosing to be a professional coach or a collegiate coach, Football is your life and you have to manage your time with uh, your family and uh, everything is second to that. Football and family and then everything comes after that. Hey, no pull recognition by either of you guys. There's a puller. Call the pull, you feel the pull, you gotta work over the top. We gotta have a pull recognition. Okay, when you're in empty, you have that number three. He motions into the backfield, you combo. He's, the Broncos coming inside the four gap, you gotta step out and be able to leverage the team, defense. I love everything about football. I love the competition of it. I love going out there and uh, as a player, you're one-on-one -on -one battling a man one-on-one -on -one and the best man will win. 
when you go out there as a team, two teams will battle each other and the best team will win. And uh, the preparation and the grind and the toughness of football is unlike anything else.